Who are you kidding? How much was one of these tires? Probably thousand dollars. No, all four of them weren't even a thousand. So calm down. All right, I might have lied a little. They're two fifty each. They are. Yeah, it's two fifty a wheel and tire. Yeah, it's a, the wheels are free actually. Buy buy four tires get the wheel free. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. We are working on Kenny's calipers today. Um, so I'll just walk you through the process of getting them apart, fully dismantling them, and then they will go through the whole process of, that we do for powder coating them as far as prep, masking, and everything else that goes in between um, to get them done correctly and as nicely as possible. Um, so one, they last, and then two, they're gonna look great for a long, long time. Um, at the end of the video, uh, we'll see how things go. We'll try to get them on Kenny's Evo and get everything mounted up and bled correctly as well. Um, I did buy a new brake leader, so hopefully that makes our life a little easier. And um, we'll basically go from there. So hopefully, hopefully you enjoy this one. All right. So I'll show you what we got. Got a few boxes here. So what Kenny did to keep his car on the road, he bought a set of Brembo's from Rock Auto. They're remanufactured. Um, they come with new seals and everything, but they're raw. So, and then we also have the rears. And the rears are obviously used and abused. Anyways, now that the freaking gimbal died, I was too lazy to switch over to a tripod. Kenny also got a set of used rear calipers for the Evo. Um, so we'll be taking these fully apart and refinishing, ref refinishing them as well. Um, so that's, that's the project for this video is front and rears on an Evo. It's an Evo 9 RS, which you guys seen in the other videos. a little sanding we got the two halves of the caliper nice and smooth so when we put them back together they'll match up and there won't be any really exposed edges um, you know to kind of start corroding or whatever so nice and smooth I grind them down like you saw in the video and then just kind of sand it smooth and it works out well all right let's get these things apart So this is pretty much where we end up with a bare caliper shell that now is going to get fully degreased, masked off, and then, we, um, then we're going to sandblast it. We're going to sandblast all the surfaces that the powder is going to touch so we have good adhesion to the actual metal itself and get some color on there. But before that, um, we got the rear calipers to take apart. Um, and those are going to get uh, chemically stripped. Once they're stripped, they're going to get degreased and then finally blasted, just like these will be. 
and we'll show you that. Just to run through the process quick, the, uh, the rear cal calipers are gonna be a little more messy because obviously they're not remanufactured, re renewed. So what we're gonna do with these is, if you have an Evo, you know, if you have a Brembo style caliper, you know, pop the two little pins out. That's what basically holds the pads in. Take the clip off and then the, the pads just slide right out. Uh, I'm gonna take off this back line, which I know Kenny's probably already has the stainless ones. Um, and then after that, we basically take the air hose with the air gun that's not on here at the moment. Um, and we blow in through the back to pop the pistons out. Once the pistons are, are out, they come out like 60 to 80% out. Um, and then you just have to kind of grab them, pull them. Sometimes with the older style caliper, you might need to use like, um, like a channel lock or something just to kind of help you get them out of there uh, to make your life a little easier. Once the pistons are out, then you can split the caliper because now you don't need the, uh, the circulation of the, uh, of the fluid to pass through. If you were to remove, if you were to split the caliper first before removing the piston, you're gonna have an issue or have trouble getting those pistons out of there. Um, so we'll do that now. We'll take apart the rears and show you a little quick time lapse of what that looks like. look like when they come out of stripping degreasing obviously these are going to get cleaned again but what Casper is going to do now is these little clip bolts are going to get removed sometimes they're a huge pain in the ass to get out obviously you can see it's all rusted so he's going to be heating it um, you know and then trying to get them out it's a process but uh, he's gotten good at it so that's his job to, uh, to take him out. So stay tuned. We'll put this on the time lapse to get um, to get everything out and show you show you guys how it goes.
How'd those go? They're pretty good. See that? Now we can clean all this up so that way nothing, nothing on these calipers will be will be dirty or have anything leaking out of them or any dirt seeping out of any uh, you know edges. So that way it's just done right. You know, we'll coat all of this. All these surfaces will be coated and then we'll clean up the um, the little shim pads and basically get everything nice and new again. Next step is going to be masking off and cleaning and then finally blasting and then after that we coat. Pretty much what all calipers look like when they come to us after we get after we get done with them. This is another set of STI calipers we're working on. For whatever reason, STI calipers always get a little more corroded than the, the Evo ones. Even though it's it's still a Brembo caliper, for whatever reason, the, uh, the STI ones always get a little more corroded. At a stage where we're going to be cleaning up all the all the surfaces that are going to get masked, which is right in the pistons, inside the piston holes, um, all the mating surfaces are going to get uh, cleaned up and masked off. And the way we do that is with red Scotch Brite. So what Ben's going to do here, he's basically going to take the red Scotch Brite and, and start cleaning everything up. It takes a little bit of time to do, but at least we know all the surfaces are going to be nice and clean. And, um, and ready for, for masking. Obviously these look terrible right now, but they're gonna get a lot better. Nice and smooth, ready for tape before we blast. wrapped up cleaning up the uh, the calipers all the mating surfaces so although these are stained they are nice and clean and smooth including inside where the piston goes the piston never really rides on the wall of the uh, of the opening here it rides on the seal that's in here so even if these weren't completely 100% perfect it would still be okay but we like to clean them up the best we can so like I said, these are these are pretty stained, but once they're masked off and all together, it's all gonna look perfect. So, and then these are the fronts. All of this is nice and smooth and clean. And obviously everything's gonna get blown up, blown out um, before we assemble everything. But we'll see that later in the video. Now the next step is gonna be 
uh, to have Ben basically mask up all the all the surfaces where we can't media blast. So all the threaded holes, all the mating surfaces, everything's going to get uh, masked off. And you'll see that now. Ben just finished up taping everything. So this is how we tape some of the calipers. Um, a lot of them are different, so we tape them different ways, but generally this is the way they get taped. Um, so nothing will get in there. And this is prior to blasting, so that way um, all those surfaces kind of stay that OEM finish. So these are the fronts, obviously. These surfaces here, we, we don't blast. So basically when it's in the cabinet, we just kind of go around it um, and they don't get blasted. So once they're put together, they still have a nice machine surface to go up against. So those are that. And then we have the rears already in the cabinet, which Ben is just about to start blasting. So they're, they're sitting in there, um, obviously dirty as hell, but once they're out of there, they'll be nice and clean. I'll show you what they look like inside. Oh, and we just set up our new pot blaster, which uh, for this we won't be using, um, only because um, it, this is a little bit aggressive. So we still have our siphon feed hooked up for the more delicate parts. This is the, uh, this is the new blast hose, and it comes with a tap kit and basically runs over to our pressure pot, which we never had a pressure pot, and it's it's a lot more efficient. It obviously uses more media, it breaks it down quicker, but it, uh, it definitely blasts a lot quicker. All right, so here are the rears. Ben just taped them up. This is basically kind of how we tape those up. All the holes are plugged for the thread so we don't damage anything in the process. All of this we have to clean up, so that'll be done in here. This is the, the other half. We try to tape it, you know, kind of like the, uh, like all the OEM finish would have. Brembo actually paints these things together as a whole. Um, and this particular customer, Kenny, he, he decided that he wants to do it the same way. So we'll be coating the lines and everything as one assembled unit. And then we could put the, the caliper together. Um, we could put the cal caliper toge together as a whole. Alright, enjoy this time lapse of, uh, of Ben blasting and cleaning these up. You'll see the uh, a nice before and after, so...
And this is how the calipers look all cleaned up. So now all the all the dark spots are the basically the OEM print, uh, surfaces that will stay that way now. Uh, obviously they're older and they're stained and used up, but they're still in good condition. So we can um, we could definitely reuse these calipers. And all this stuff is gonna get taped again, just so um, obviously we don't get any powder anywhere. But you know, from what they were, black and dirty, to nice and clean. They definitely have a bit of corrosion, you can see right there. So more than likely we're gonna prime those surfaces to kind of seal all that up now that it's all clean and blasted and then and then apply the two-stage color on top of that the fronts were in really good condition they were you know pretty much brand new so we don't have to do much to those and then the rears we have a little more work to do on but once they're done they'll be good there is a good chance that because of that corrosion there uh, and the heat process that these go through they might still bubble up a little bit in those areas but luckily that's on scene so I don't think it'll be an issue. Got the calipers all masked up, back together. Looking nice and clean. I think on the, uh, on the front ones we're gonna still put the lines on before before we coat them, any one of everything together. So that's what we'll do. But they're they're almost there, guys. Almost there. As you can see, these things take forever to do. I mean, all the stripping and disassembly and assembly and taping and masking, it really does take a while to get everything um, to get everything done the way it really should be. So next up is going to be putting those line, lines on. We still have to torque down the, uh, the bolts so they're nice and tight. And then believe it or not, the powder actually will work as almost like a, um, as a Loctite. So these things will never come apart. And then it's just hang and shoot. These are going to be Actually, I'm not going to tell you what color they're going. You'll see, you'll see it in the video.
second coat is on. Like I mentioned before, these needed a little primer. So we, uh, we filled in all those imperfections. And this is what they're starting to look like. We're gonna get one more coat. And that's the clear. It's gonna make them nice and durable. It's gonna make them extra glossy. They're gonna look good. Fresh out of the oven. They're still hot. I'm gonna pull the uh, the tape and the plugs off while they're still pretty warm, so that way it's a little easier. Once the uh, once the calipers cool down and the tape stuck sticks with it, it gets pretty hard to take everything apart um, as far as the tape goes and the plugs. So we'll pull everything now, make our life a little easier. pretty much masked off. We still have to clean up all the edges, pull out some of these plugs right there, right there, just to clean all this stuff up. Um, that's gonna be tomorrow, and then we can finally assemble these things. And then I think on Thursday, we'll be getting them on Kenny's car. So they look sharp. Looking pretty good.
quick overview of what you just saw in the previous clip. We installed the seals and the pistons and obviously the boots. They're all nicely seated in there. I lubed them up obviously before them going in there so it makes my life a little easier. So the front and rears are all installed, looking fresh. And like I said, Kenny um, decided he wanted them coated together, uh, kind of like how they come from the factory. So they're all still taped up. Um, I'm actually going to Kenny's house to get these installed. And uh, we'll show you guys some clips of that, of them getting installed. I gotta still apply the decals on them and get them all together uh, before the installation and then we'll go from there. We'll show you the process or just a couple clips of us installing them in his garage. Um, Kenny's a good friend of mine so we're just going to hang out in the garage tonight and get these installed for him. We're, we're back on Kenny's garage with his Evo. He's got it all apart. Hopefully you can't really see the front wheel. I'll show you that later. The calipers are pretty much ready to go. All I want to do is just put the bleeders on and get the stickers on for him. And then I'll just sit down and, uh, and watch him work. That's right. <laughs> he's, he's getting ready to uh, get, the, get the old calipers off. This is basically what they uh, end up looking like. And I'll show you before, before and after. But we'll probably put you on the time lapse with Kenny here, having dismantle shit, stuff, really funny stuff. It's gonna be all right. We all struggle through life. Um, I think a lot, judging by the faded paint. good it looks orange on camera but does it? it does look oh there we go that's actually fucking yeah a ton better it's looking good it freshens up the car for sure all right on to the next one I mean, how you how you enjoying the uh, caliper life? Ooh, boy, let me tell you what. I feel like a new man. <laughs> <laughs> These things are crusty as fuck. These things are fucked, yeah. They got the sweet pink, red, white, and fucked. Yes. Oh, I can't say that on YouTube. Supposedly. Bleep that shit. We're not monetized yet. Oh, okay. I think this looks a little better. A little bit. A little crispy. It'd be nice if the camera focused once in a while. Yeah. That's like a good thing for the YouTubes. <laughs> Alright, so what are we doing now? We gotta replace the pads and take this caliper off? Uh, yeah, we're taking the caliper off first. If I remember which way is loose. It's always a thing. The other side's done too. Ooh, baby. Yeah, boy. Freshies. Morris is getting a new life. They use these really high tech tools. Because we don't care about this particular caliper anymore. 
What do you mean? That's as that's as high class quality, as it gets. Quality quality over right here. Hasn't been hasn't been touched since two thousand six. I'm pretty sure Brembo supplies those tools. Oh yeah, these? Yeah, one hundred percent, not hard. Clickbait. Dude, they'd be rich. Butts and Evos. And Brembos. Brembos and hoes. <laughs> Wait until. Ken's just fingering the brake pad. Yo, As he should. It easy, kids. Watch this shit. Damn. We'll put it on time lapse. Thank you. You're gonna have to. We're gonna have this to. This could be in the edited at the end, like all the dumb shit my wife says in a video. <laughs> Twelve o'clock, which is Friday morning technically, but they are on. They are bled. Pluto caps are on. All brand new. Fronts and rears. And now for the finale and grand surprise. The fun. Now you know why we did red calipers. Nice red lettering. Oh, buddy. That looks fresh. That looks good. Maybe one that's not. So as usual, I forgot to film the outro. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, it's a little bit different. It shows a little bit of the process that we do here. Um, this is just the process on the calipers. Uh, on various other parts, we do obviously things a little differently. So um, you know, stay tuned for more. We'll uh, we'll definitely upload a little more more content for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed our little bit of um, messing around in the garage and everything else that went on with this video. We'll catch you next time.